Back again today at the trail intersection of the Shoreline Trail and Porcupine Pass. Today's goal is to head up toward Porcupine Falls and then on up to Shirley Lake. Here we are getting ready to cross Porcupine Creek. I'm just going to go ahead and get my feet wet. This is along a section of the trail up to Porcupine Falls and Shirley Lake. It's actually a Porcupine Pass trail and we'll find the intersection up to the falls and Shirley Lake here shortly. It is what a section of the trail looks like. It's all rocky, pretty well worn down. And the trail goes up. Here we are on a section of Porcupine Pass Trail climbing up and this section of trail has gotten a little easier a few less rocks section of the Porcupine Trail where the views of the mountain ridge ahead of us are coming into view. Oh, it's a gorgeous view through the trees here. In this section of the trail is a little easier walking. It was a strenuous climb up for me. Yeah, but it was well worth it. Trail's flattened out a little bit now. Actually a little bit of a downhill grade. It was a strenuous hike up to get to this point, but with the views opening up, the effort was well worth it. Now I can make a little time on trails like this. Those, that, the rock and the grade climbing up really slowed me down. But this is a pretty section of open forest, the rocky terrain, a lot of green undergrowth. It's pretty up here. Oh yeah. This is mo' better. here at the trail junction and now we're going to fork off the Porcupine Pass Trail and head up to Twin Lakes. I don't trust my footing across those locks so my feet are going to get wet. Oh, it's so funny. You were going fast. I'm like, oh, I hope it doesn't go too fast. And ah, like, well, I got, I, I realized that. You were like, that. Whoa. yeah, <laughs> I realized that. <laughs> We've just come to the official trail junction. This is headed up the Twin Lakes, and over there is Porcupine Pass, headed up that way. As you can see, the views up in there are outstanding, and this is one of the best days we've had for hiking the whole week and actually since the whole time I've been here. Okay, we're out of the meta area. I'm gonna be starting up another set of switchbacks now. It'll take us up to Twin Lakes. Beyond that is Shirley Lake. These switchbacks, the grade's a little gentler. 
the climb's a little easier. Still a climb when we're about 9,000 or 9,100 feet. There are a few blowdowns across the trail like this. This is probably one of the more easy ones, but you have to decide whether you go under it or over it. I think I'm gonna step over it. Check this view out through the forest and across the valley to another drainage. I think that is the Clear Creek drainage in the middle of the view. We're on the last climb up to Twin Lakes. It's about a quarter of a mile, maybe just a little bit less. I'm now in my take 20 steps, stop and suck air zone. That's about 9,500 feet. Just arriving at Twin Lakes. That sure makes my feet feel good. I have to say for me, it was a strenuous hike up here, but it was worth it. We've arrived at Shirley Lake. Here's another perspective of Shirley Lake from the outlet end of the lake. We're at an elevation of about 10,000 feet. And when you think about the Wind River Range, these are the views you think about. That's the outlet end of the lake right there. It's about 1.15 in the afternoon. Gonna spend about 30, 45 minutes here and then my next steps are back to the trailhead. Okay, we've just left Twin Lakes. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. And we're hoping to be back by the, be at the trailhead. Oh, 5.30 or six. It's a little bit easier hike going downhill. We still got a long way to go. I'm making a little bit better time going down and coming up. Yes, it's raining again. back up on the intersection of the Lakeside Trail and the Porcupine Pass Trail. 